time. We have 1,440 minutes every single day. That's 1,440 minutes to live, to work, and to play. Over the past few years, the driving question for me has been, how do we get back time in the world that we live in, the world that we move in? My team and I, we've been collecting movement traces from connected buses, cars, trains, devices, mashing it up with a model of the physical world, and putting together the jigsaw puzzle of what is happening in every single location in time. From the billions of movement traces from the connected buses in Sao Paulo, moving millions of commuters every single day, all the way to the instant food deliveries and grocery deliveries that are happening in our local neighborhoods every single day. So how does this all work? We're now entering the age of the internet of moving things. These are connected objects with low-cost onboard sensors, such as GPS, RFIDs, and beacons, and a whole host of other sensors that are moving through our cities in space and time, getting movement information and ambient information and pushing it back to the cloud. Now, when you start aggregating all this information across an entire city, not only can you start visualizing the patterns of movement across an entire city, the pulse of the city in the mornings, the afternoons, and the evenings, but more importantly, you can start to learn from it, model it, and also to start predicting it. What happens when it rains in Sao Paulo? The soccer team uh, wins. What happens to the commuting patterns across the entire city? Which bus stops, roads, locations have two hour long waiting times? And which parts of the city are completely empty? These are now the kinds of questions you can start answering by throwing more computing power in the cloud and taking the guesswork out. Crucial questions, especially as cities want to be more responsive and want to reshape their urban infrastructures for the next few years. Now, this data is not only available in the cloud for processing and analysis, but also is now available in our mobile devices. We built a new kind of a map for moving objects. Here's an example of looking at the buses and, and train traces in a number of cities, including Vancouver, New York, and San Francisco. Now, for me, this is a very exciting time as a technologist. Over the past 20 years, many of us in this room worked on making the web faster. Now, with the internet of moving things, we all have an opportunity to help the world move faster and give people back time. Thank you.